Okay, my friends, I want you to know who did most of these absolutely fabulous experiments. He has a completely different take on things than I do, Rod Warren. He's looking for what is inside the light. Is there anything that you can make out that the light is actually made of? That is, it could be, who knows what's in there. Now, I'm going to show you some of the pictures he did. They're absolutely phenomenal. Now, I go to the atomic side of it. So, I, I don't necessarily support what he's showing, but I can't dismiss it either. I'm telling you, he does this fabulous, fabulous work. And um, the things that he showed me blew me away, but it's they're sort of hard to present in, 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 in a material way like I do. I'm looking for the atomic stuff. He's, you'll see, you should come up to his, his site here, Rod Warren, it's on YouTube, and see what he has to say. Let me show you some of the stuff he did, absolutely fabulous, and for, for almost nothing, just using a cell phone, and well, I'll show you. Okay, my friends, this, this is, I know this sounds crazy, but everything that I have found is crazy. Let there be light. Life came from somewhere. Could it possibly come from light? I don't know. Rod looking into the sun is kind of stuff. I stay away from that side of it. I got to be honest with you. I am the atomic side, but I cannot discount this whatsoever. Where did I show you the things he found? All right, I don't know what that is, but it's in the light from one of his experiments. All right, this is another one that he saw. Now, I... <laughs> All I can tell you is these are the kind of things you were seeing in, in the light. Now, you tell me where life comes from. I don't know. Here's another crazy one. I mean, you can see all kinds of things, but some things look like things. I, I don't know what to say, but that's, the, that's his side of it. My side is the atomic side. I mean, look at that. All I can say is that's all I can say. <laughs> the other one was red. That one's not completely red. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, my friends. Rod Warren is the guy. Without him, there would be nothing. I would have no proof of what I am showing, which is the neutrinos and the electron showers and all that stuff. Here's what he originally was doing, was just with finishing nails. Now, I did exactly the same he, things he did. I bought all the same equipment. We worked together for several years, and I tried to do it. I couldn't get the kind of results he was getting. He's a master at it. He has, he, I don't know how much time he put in it, but he must have put a hell of a lot of time into it because the, the, the work was just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Now, as I say, or have, I will say, he has a different take on this. He wants to see, is there anything in that light that could indicate some form of life forms or something? Because when, even in the Bible, it says, let there be light. Well, what does that mean? Does that mean let there be life? Who knows? I'm staying out of that realm into the atomic realm for now. If there's some really material evidence that I can see, and I am seeing things I can't explain, as I already showed you or will. Now, this is the kind of stuff. I know the oldest paradigolia. I was just seeing things. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> Rod, he's been done a lot of work on this. You should go up to his channel and subscribe. I hope he'll get more invested into it. We sort of parted ways several years ago, but I, I think it was because I wasn't just showing his work and that wasn't fair of me even though I don't necessarily agree a hundred percent I cannot discount the things he said I cannot discount them I know everybody oh this is parody only well you take it for what you want that's what I was told all about my mud fossils until it was validated by Yale University so don't tell me everything's pareidolia you have to look and think that's all I ask of anyone and I did I looked and I thought but I, I stepped back from this because already I was in so much trouble with my mud fossils nobody would listen to me and they still won't listen to me about anything basically so what I need you to do is uh, anyway all right, like I say, he's found so many things, I, and I hope Rod will continue to, to post his stuff, and I'd like to see him re-engage about getting free energy for people, because I'm telling you, what, he, what he's done is unsurpassed by anyone at CERN, Lab, Lawrence Livermore, JPL, NASA, European Space Agency, all of them pale. 
in comparison to Rod's work. And without him, there was no way for me to do my atomic theory. Now, he basically was an accident that he he just popped up one day and I saw it. And um, he's not in the atomic realm, I am. But this is very interesting, I have to tell you. He's, he's done some serious, serious, serious work and he should be as seen as, for what he has done in in my atomic research I, I mean i this may come to pass i have no idea nobody can tell me where life came from they all oh, oh, just slime turned into life who knows i know light is required for life a 100 percent certainty zero question about that light is required for life you read it any way you want rod warren on YouTube. I love you, Rob, brother. Thank you so much for everything you did, man. And I am sorry I didn't promote your work earlier. All right? And, uh, and um, I hope you're in good health and everything. And I, I'd like to hear from Dylan, too, about his work with those fields. Let me show you what Dylan did. I mean, these guys are fabulous. Dylan is Rod's nephew. He's in New Zealand. Rod is in Australia. This is from Dylan, Dylan Carpenter. This, this is nothing more than a cell phone, too. We did everything that I have been showing with this basic array of tools. Now, Dylan had a new phone. This goes back to 2014, 2015. This is a Galaxy S3. Rod used a selfie side. He said that worked best. And um, like I say, I'm hoping we'll re-engage. And because we get free energy from this, I'm almost 100% certain. He's separated the white from the black. You can do that. The white is the energy. And it's got a ton of energy. So I don't see any reason these electron showers can't be used to do huge amounts of, of electrical work in a, in a shoebox. Carried around, totally off the grid. Take it in the woods, take it camping, take it out, put it in your car, put it in your house, war zones, anywhere you want. Pump water, make, make lights run. And, uh, and I think he, he has come up with a possibility, a way to do that, just from these little experiments he was doing. So once again, thank you, Rod. I appreciate it, and I hope everybody will go up there and thank him, because without that, I, I could not even start to to show my electron flood theory. And without electron flood theory, we're never going to get anywhere. They still don't even understand what light is, don't understand what heat is, don't understand what cold is. They can't prove gravity. They don't know what 95% of the universe is made out of because it's the dark matter. All of these things I have shown, and I only could possibly show them because of Rod Warren. All right? I call it the Warren effect, where that Venturi hits. Again, Rod, brother, thank you so much, man. And Dylan, thank you, my friend. You have opened doors, both of you, that were closed probably since the dawn of humanity, <laughs> as far as I can tell. All right, thank you all.